Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use animation to generate splines for modeling. One of the most common ways of modeling inside Cinema 4D is to get uh, some sort of spline, for example the flower, and put it under a generator, and you have your object. So let's go and generate some splines in a, a non-standard way using animation that will allow us to create interesting objects. For example, this spiral flower. And this cannot be generated using our standard splines unless you decide to draw it by hand. So let's start with an empty scene. And uh, first of all, I am going to use a flower. And then I'm going to create a null. I'm going to set this to be a sphere so I can see it and go to the null, right click and add an Align to Spline. I'm going to do the Align to Spline on the flower so I can move this null all the way around. So let's go and animate this position. At frame 0 I'm going to put it at 0% and at frame 90 I'm going to put it at 100% and I'm going to make sure that it's linear so it uh, retains its speed and doesn't ease in and ease out. So make sure it's a linear transition and of course go here and uh, continue so it wraps around. Excellent. So if I press play you'll see that it will go around. Now the next thing I'm going to do is increase this to 900 frames because now I'm going to go and animate the flower on the Z axis. At frame 0 I'm going to set it to 0 and at frame 900 I'm going to set it to 2000. Add a keyframe and now what I'm going to do is frame this, rewind and press play. And you can see that it's accelerating slowly. Of course uh, I like to make uh, the flower speed linear. So go here, you can press H to frame it. Make sure you select all the keyframes and press this button so that it's linear. So let's close this. All we have to do now is rewind, select the null and go to the MoGraph and create a tracer. In the tracer, uncheck trace vertices. I just want to trace the position of this null. And lastly, go to your animate and set the play mode to be simple. So it will stop at frame 900. So I'm going to press play. And now we have this spline that has 900 points, each point at each position of the null. Right click here and go to count state to object. And now I can select this spline, cut it and put it in a new document. I can change the sampling if I wish, I can make it a kima or B spline and add some uniform points here to make it smooth. And now I have this spline that cannot be modeled any other way. And I can choose to extrude it, set the extrusion to Z and put it in here. And here is my model. You can use this technique with all sorts of different animations, nested animations, null into nulls, rotations, simulations, or whatever else you may come up with. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.